coming up, what's been making headlines in music and entertainment across the globe. With their latest album, Neon Ballroom, to go out and promote, the Australian trio Silverchair couldn't really hide the fact that lead singer and songwriter Daniel Johns now looks radically different from the way he did as a teenager just a few years back. Swamped by his group's success, Johns sank into a deep depression and developed an eating disorder, which it turns out is the general subject of the band's single Anna's Song. Our colleagues in America have the story. Anna's just uses a metaphor and kind of uses a, a name for a composite of people just hiding behind an eating disorder. Catapulted into the rock and roll fast lane before it could even drive, life certainly hasn't been what you'd call normal in some time for Silver Chair's Daniel Johns. But the pain evidenced in the very personal lyrics Daniel wrote for Anna's song, and indeed much of Neon Ballroom, reaches beyond the cliched troubles of overnight success and clutches right at the heart of the emotional problems he's been grappling with for the past few years. When it comes to just being a person and living a normal life and actually having a life, I didn't for a year. Daniel's depression and paranoia really began to surface as the band was touring in support of their Freak Show album in 1997. Back at home once the tour ended, on the advice of a therapist, Daniel moved out of his family home and into a rented house. But things took a turn for the worse when he isolated himself to the point where he saw virtually no one and did nothing but write poetry for the first six months of 1998. I didn't want to go in public because I felt I had a lot of troubles with anxiety and had to take medication because every time I left the house I'd think people were had conspiracies and people were after me and mm -hmm. every time I left the house I was going to get beaten up. And while living alone, away from the watchful eyes of his family and friends, Daniel's eating disorder intensified. Well, how little was it that you were eating? I got to the stage where it was pretty little that when I was, when I wrote Anna's song, when I wrote the actual poem, I was eating like, I don't know, two or three pieces of fruit a day. Or just fruit? Just that was it? Yeah, but not, not very much. Wow. Unlike many people who suffer from eating disorders, most of whom are women, with Daniel it had nothing to do with having a negative body image. It was never about my body because I always, I was always embarrassed, embarrassed about being skinny. I didn't... So quite the opposite from thinking you're too fat. Yeah. Every time, I guess, I felt that my life was out of control and I was, it was kind of out of my hands. I couldn't do anything about it. I guess I took control of food intake because it was the only thing that no one could really take charge of. Is that weird to you? That people, that people just assume that it would be impossible for a guy to get caught up in something like that? Yeah, because I think the biggest myth about eating disorders is that it's all to do with fashion and it's all to do with, it's all to do with fitting a certain stereotype. It's not about losing weight to a lot of people it's more about just having control and how much did you lose do you know how much you weigh no i know the the lightest i was was like 50 kilograms i don't know what that is in pounds or anything sure yeah when that happened that was when i saw a doctor and i was told to change or things would get dramatically worse fortunately things took a turn for the better the combination of the cathartic effect of writing poetry, the helpful impact of antidepressant medications, and the positive response of his bandmates to the music he'd written all helped draw Daniel out of his seclusion and into the studio, where Silverchair began work on their new album. And now out on the road with Neon Ballroom, Daniel is able to call the shots in his career more than ever, and is keeping things from spiraling out of control. might suggest that Daniel's newly confessional side serves a promotional purpose as well. But he's got little time for such charges. I don't care what people think. When you get letters that say you've you've helped me admit to anorexia and you've helped me get I was gonna kill myself until I heard this album it makes people that say you're exploiting your problems just seem like such a little speck in the dirt. You just don't worry about it. Would you say that you're cured now? That you will be cured? in time. I don't think I'm 100% cured. That would be naive to think that, but I'm definitely 
on the road to being cured, definitely a lot better than I've been in the last. So my state of mind at the moment is better than it's been in the last two or three years. It's happier. Yeah.